Hey, I'm Creech, and this is Creech and Car. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Namex HUV, which is a really neat luxury SUV that comes with a hydrogen powered V8. In this video, I'll take you on a tour through the exterior and interior design of the HUV, and then we'll go over the mechanical and performance specs and take a listen to the exhaust note. Finally, I'll go over the pricing and release details and give my opinion on whether or not this is a viable option to keep the combustion engine alive. First, what exactly is Namex? Well, this is a new automotive startup, but unlike virtually every other startup I talk about on this channel, Namex isn't focusing exclusively on electric vehicles. Quick note on pronunciation, I think it's Namex, I think that's how the CEO says it, but I've heard other members uh, involved with the company say like Namex or, or something resembling that. I'll just go with Namex. The company was founded with French and Moroccan roots and it initially planned on making fuel cell EVs, but it later switched to hydrogen internal combustion engines. I'll go more in depth on the powertrain later in the video. Namex was founded in 2020 and it is headquartered in Paris, France. Namex's first and only model for now is the HUV, which simply stands for hydrogen utility vehicle as you might've been able to guess. The HUV was designed by Pen and Farina and I think it looks really nice and is somewhat reminiscent of Genesis SUVs. The brand's logo is an X and the X becomes a common design cue throughout the car. Up front, there's a large grille with a light bar and LED headlights, but below that there is an X design that is done with LED running lights. So it's sort of like the backlit logo on steroids. The HUV is sleek and not overstyled at all, as a lot of modern cars and SUVs can be. There's some gloss black cladding along the bottom, which definitely won't hold up well in real world use, although it's also been shown with some flat black cladding that's more traditionally used. There are two body lines that form an X along the side of the car, and the door handles are very small and close flush to the door. The gloss black wheels have a really cool geometric type design to them, and the roof line has more of that sportback coupe-like design to it. The rear is clean and simple, with a light bar being the main design feature, along with sort of a stretched out X along the bumper. Right above the bumper is where the hydrogen tanks are stored. I'll go more into detail on how all that works after we take a look inside. The interior design is a bit more out of the ordinary and it feels more like something out of a concept car, so I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing some changes here before production comes. Although, Namex is sort of taking the approach that this is pretty close to the final interior. The X theme can be found again on the dash, and there's a feed for the digital side mirrors and digital gauge cluster, along with a small screen for the passenger. There's a larger screen coming out of the center console that sort of serves as the main infotainment screen. The steering wheel looks really futuristic with sort of that single spoke design and a fabric material is used heavily throughout the interior as an alternative to leather. We don't really have any details on what exactly this material is or what it really feels like. The glass roof gives an open feel and it will give the illusion of more space which is needed as headroom certainly suffers as a result of the sloping roof line like it would in any of these sportback SUVs. Aside from that, the back seats are a pretty nice place to be, with large screens on the back of the front seats and dual climate zones in the rear. While the vehicle does look nice, the powertrain is what's particularly exciting, so without further ado, let's get into the details. This powertrain is centered around a 6.2 liter V8 that uses hydrogen instead of gas. This isn't very common to see, but it functions nearly identically to a gas ICE. It uses the four-stroke cycle, and the hydrogen is pumped from the capsules in the back up to the engine where it is injected and ignited and so on. Hydrogen is one of the most combustible substances we know of, and it has an octane rating of around 130. Water vapor and small amounts of nitrous oxide are exhausted from the engine. The HUV has a nice dual exhaust with a hexagonal pipe design. So go ahead and take a listen to this clip of the exhaust note. As far as environmental impact goes, nitrous oxide is toxic to humans and it's possible for it to indirectly act as a greenhouse gas, but Namex argues that overall hydrogen ICE emissions cause less harm than the production of EV batteries, which require heavy mining of rare earth minerals and are difficult to dispose of. In addition to that, the electricity that we use to power EVs ultimately comes from 
fossil fuels, so hydrogen is truly an alternative fuel source. Since Namex has only recently switched over to this engine from the fuel cell setup, there aren't any performance specs just yet. But to give you an idea, Yamaha built a 5.0 liter hydrogen V8 that made 450 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. So the performance is comparable, if not better, than gas internal combustion engines due to the higher combustibility. The major challenge to switching over to hydrogen fuel will be refueling. Namex uses what is called the CapEx system. So when you're running low on fuel, you would drive to a CapEx station. They call them CapEx stores and simply swap out the empty capsules for full ones. This is significantly quicker than EV charging and likely faster than the average gas station fill up. Obviously the lack of infrastructure is an issue. The HUV also has a fixed tank, sort of like a normal gas tank, that can be filled up with hydrogen at any of the sort of more generic hydrogen fueling stations that power cars like the Toyota Mirai. Navix would also have the ability to regularly deliver capsules to its customers. So that's another option that uh, the company has on the table to actually get the hydrogen in the hands of the HUV owners. The HUV is launching in Europe and Namex plans to have around 4,000 CapEx stations around Europe by the time of the launch. Namex says the HUV should be production ready in about two years, with deliveries scheduled to begin by 2025. The target price is lower than what I expected, and the base model should start around $80,000, so that's pretty comparable to just normal gas-powered luxury SUVs in this segment. As for the long-term viability of this company, I am doubtful for now. Namex needs significantly more funding, resources, and connections to make this a reality. That being said, hydrogen-fueled ICE cars are definitely an option for the future, but I think they will be especially viable for commercial vehicles. I think if this does go mainstream, it really would be with the backing and resources of very large companies. If you are looking more into this, Cummins and Tata are going to be able to do a lot more with this and they already kind of have their feet in the water. So I think that's really where the big push will come. But Namex is bringing some innovation to the market for being such a small company. But that's all for now. There's a look at the Namex HUV. This is part of a series on the channel called Startup Showcase, where I take a look at new startup car brands and their models. For more, check out the Startup Showcase playlist and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.